Yo, what is good? My anime people, what is good, yo? So, uh, with Mob Psycho, this week's episode, it felt actually very much so like that should have been like a Halloween type of episode or something. Like, man, that felt very, very different from what I was expecting. Uh, from a mob episode in general and I actually really enjoyed it like it felt dark it felt like something terrible could happen at any moment but then at the same time you just get this reminder that oh yeah this this is mob like this is supposed to be funny this is supposed to have some comedy in it here and there and it, it just didn't feel like it had the jokes anymore once it got towards the end and I was kind of worried uh, for some of the characters, including Mr. Uh, Chubby Chubby Man this week's episode with having his body fully possessed and just going full anime this week. <laughs> holy crap. That man was moving and groving, bro. Like, holy. Um, not to mention seeing the possession with, uh, with the guy Dimple is always, always hilarious. Just like knowing that it's him and how they um, animate the person who he's possessing is hilarious to me. So it was just like, oh, okay, so now Dimple's about to go in. Uh, he was about to straight up lose the life of this man this week's episode, which, to be fair, um, that was a super crazy fight. I mean, he should not have even had a chance because not only was this quote-unquote the dagger um like pretty much fake she also had like an ability that she could continuously get stronger if there's any type of fear being like put towards her so if i had a fear of her and i show up she would feed off of that and get stronger period so once the man who was fighting her actually realized just all of these rumors and all of these things that, you know, he has heard, not only heard, but has also probably thought of himself. If you hear someone talking about something, you can usually draw your own conclusion. And that's where these urban legends and things like that were really getting into. Uh, our heads and messing up with humans and stuff because now you're in a position where you're kind of just stuck you know you're kind of just either screwed for the rest of your times of thinking of that person or you just try to block it all out together which that's what comes with being an adult sometimes is you get to forget about all the stupid things that as a kid creeps you out and find some new ones <laughs> find a lot of more crazy things that creep you out that, that's the best thing about being an adult um, but yeah with what he learns or what we all should learn from this is we can make something more terrifying than it actually is and that's simply because our imaginations are so powerful and um Mob Psycho plays on this like very very well which I thought was a was an awesome way to kind of just talk about urban legends or to even have them incorporated in your show when uh, you also have a character in the show kind of saying hey you you should be completely terrified this is not something that happens unless you're in the science fiction uh, type of world you know so even even the characters understand that these urban legends should be just that they should not exist they should not um, you know be able to be seen and uh, touched and talked upon because that they're just supposed to be legends and to then convey the whole part of with mob not really having any emotional tides to the internet he doesn't really care to follow other people's um, thought process when it comes down to these types of things not to mention whatever he heard which the story he was going off of was oh she's just a lady 
that shows up when it's raining. <laughs> like, that's that's the scariest thing he's really kind of got from all of it. So, it just goes to show you that with a mind that doesn't accept the same rules as everybody else does when it comes down to certain people, certain legends, it might not apply. And I thought that was really a dope way of just saying... Okay, you believe in that, but because I don't believe in it, I can actually fight it. I can actually resist it. Since you believe that it could, it can't be defeated, then how could you then go and fight it with a true uh, optimism of saying you can win, you know? So, I don't know. I thought that was really deep for some reason, and it might have went over some people's heads, so I thought I'd touch upon it. Um, and, I mean... Not saying it's you guys, my anime people, you know what I mean? But I'm saying more in the fact of it is, uh, you know, people that come and check my videos out for the one time and then they don't subscribe or they check it out one more time later, you know? It's just those are the types of things that I think of once I see things that kind of call out to me or just kind of ring out, hey, this this seems relatively like a meaning behind all of what they're trying to say here or you know the guy who created the show made Saitama and because of like the work you put out because of the effort of like the shows you want to make or the uh, impressions you want to leave with those shows some people might not take you seriously and I feel like with a show like One Punch Man and like and Mob Psycho you probably some people probably don't take this person that seriously and um, that is kind of the writer's curse when it comes down to doing um, doing comedies doing things that are like science fiction and stuff like that because you get labeled as something that you might not be in it happens to a lot of writers I've noticed like when you kind of do one genre your fan base only expects that genre now like you can't write a different genre because you put your foot in this one so why would you go into another so mob cycle showing some very very interesting dark images this week's episode that had me very uh like give me chills and stuff with some of the uh, i was gonna say drafting but it's like the the dark sketches, all the dark edging lines and stuff in this week's episode, it all just felt so, uh, like, November vibe-ish, and, um, I really enjoyed it, though, and, uh, to know that we have all of these crazy people just still roaming around in Mob's neck of the woods and pretty much will never change, it's fun to know that they have all of these interesting things popping off and we still haven't really found the organization that pretty much was the big talk in last season uh, and we haven't found an organization that is remotely close to them but with the opener we see a lot popping off so those types of things are what I, I'm kinda like afraid to watch now like uh, Slime's opener and Ender had so many characters and different stuff going in it that didn't happen in this in the week's episode and probably not in more of the week's episodes. Kind of sucks to see that type of things, but um, usually because they show those things, they have good reason to do it. They just want you to get hype for new content. Maybe they're trying to show you that and mob that these bad people that we're seeing uh you know are actually going to put up a fight to the to the extent of the people in the organization stuff like that and i understand that but at the same time it's like man i wish i knew how much you were going to try to show us it's like seeing a trailer and they actually show you how the villain probably dies because the hero all of a sudden has a weapon and they're swinging and you, they cut out at that last swinging. <laughs> and it's like, oh, by the way, that swing was taking out the bad guy. You know, it's like, wow, I, I don't need to watch the movie now. They win by taking them out with a sword that they find. <laughs> like, cool. I, I know the whole movie now. 
And that that's just maybe me being too intelligent or looking too far into stuff. And I have I have done that a couple times, and it sucks. But at the same time, it's a gift and a curse in the same uh, for me because I do like not being. I don't like to lie to myself to make myself watch something. So if if it actually interests me and it actually does the things that they're telling me, uh, I have no reason to you know go against uh, it. But overall, I'm just saying that. Mob Psycho this week was pretty much just putting out a lot of feels, and I think if you overlook anything, you might have missed it, but I know my anime people are pretty in-depth in looking at these things, so it might not be something you guys miss, but it might be something others miss, so go ahead and share the video, talk about it with me in the comments, let me know how you guys are feeling about all of this. Uh, very soon so if you guys are looking forward to that make sure you subscribe and have that notification bell on um and i will be talking to you guys in the next one so with all that being said take care guys uh, and i hope you have a great day night evening whatever the case is you are when you're watching this and support my other videos thank you and peace